What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. At the end of each month, I go over my trading bot returns. And in this video, you're gonna see my returns for January of 2021. Let's get into it. All right, so here are my returns uh, for this month. Once again, just proof that it's real money and I'm not lying to you. Here's my account number um, with my trading brokerage. You can see that there's a SIM 101 account number here. If I check that, the values change. If I uncheck it, they're legitimate, they're actual values. Actually, in my SIM account, my paper trading account, I lost a lot of money. Um, I was, I'm testing new strategies, so they're kind of still in the works. But anyways, that's just proof that, you know, this is real money and these are actual trades. Once again, a lot of people I feel like are not transparent, especially on YouTube. So make sure you do diligence and, you know, double check kind of everyone that you watch. And just take everything with a grain of salt. So in this month, I made $2,149.06 US dollars in net profit. This is after commissions and obviously after losses. Okay. Um, now, in terms of percentage of my account, this is the Ninja Trader platform. So, what you're seeing is the trade performance through Ninja Trader. Um, if I select percent here, you can see that it's an 8.41% return. Now, this is kind of misleading because um, I trade futures and how Ninja Trader uh, um, calculates these percentages is actually based off the amount of points, right? So it's saying that, you know, I, I made an 8.41% return on all the points that I traded. Um, now, because futures are leveraged, it's actually much, much more. So this number is misleading. Um, the actual return percentage of my account, uh, my account right now is at $16,000 US. Um, so uh, I made $2,149.06 in profit if we, let me just pull up the calculator here. So before my account was around 14,000 for futures and we made uh, $2,000. So we're gonna uh, do, hold on, 2,149 point zero six divided by, I don't know what the exact value is. I'll just put 14,000 times 100 looks like it's 15 percent does that make sense 15 percent yeah that makes about sense let me know if i'm wrong in the comments below but that's a 15 percent return on investment on my total account um i have some other accounts too that, that trade different equities but in, as far as my trading bot this is kind of um what i use and the account size for that so um that's pretty decent 15 percent return in one month um let's talk about kind of you know the risk we saw so at the worst possible time, I was down 5%. Um, now, let me put this back to currency. So I was down $1,400, 1400 bucks. So there's risk with everything. You know, some days were good and some days weren't, weren't um, we're okay, you know? Um, and then we have some other value sharp ratio of 0 0.77. I don't really look at these values, but some, you know, some people do, some investors do. So um, we had a sharp ratio of 0 0.77. Sortino ratio of 1.0, ulcer index of 0 0.02, and a probability of 9.72%. Um, this is technically till today, February 6th, so it's more than a month. We made 42 total trades and we had a 59% win ratio. Um, 25 winning trades, 17 losing trades. The average trade was $51.17. Average winning trade was $217, and the average losing trade was $193. Um, we had 1.12 average win to average loss ratio. We had seven max consecutive winners and four max consecutive losers. Our largest winning trade was $528, and our largest losing trade was $578. We averaged 1.79 trades per day. Our average time in the market was 950 minutes. Um, our profit per month is estimated to be $1,900. Our max time to recover was eight days. Our longest flat period was 2.4 days. Um, and these are the average excursions. I'm not gonna go through them. I went through most of the, the, um, the stats for you guys as well. Um, let's take a look at the analysis. This is kind of, we can see how the profit did per month or you know per day essentially. Uh, so this is cumulative net profit. If we just did net profit, it'd be kind of per day, so we can see the winning days and losing days. That's pretty cool. 
Um, overall, my sentiments, you know, it's just another month. Yes, it's been a great profitable month and I, I feel blessed, but you know, there's still a lot of work to do. Um, and I know every month won't be this good. You know, it's gonna be some bad months. Um, so I just need to kind of keep moving forward. And I feel like I learn more when I fail. I don't learn when I succeed. It's, it's kind of weird, but I definitely learn more when I make mistakes or, or you know, have a bad month. So, um, you know, I'm happy that I made this money. This is great. You know, um, if I could do this per month and then keep compounding my, my profits with this and increase my quantity sizing, that'd be great. But I know every month isn't gonna be this good. In terms of my strategies, I am working on a couple. So I have a machine or sorry, I have a mean reversion strategy that's running live with the S&P 500 index features right now. And then I'm running it on my SIM or paper trading account with the other indices, uh, those being the Dow Jones and the Russell. So that's kind of running in the background in addition to my day trading strategy that runs on the NASDAQ. And I'm also working on a machine learning nonlinear regression strategy as well. Uh, that's going to be trading, um, hopefully day trading, getting in and out very, very quickly. Um, basically taking previous data, trying to predict prices and attempt to trade around it. Um, and so that's kind of, I'm incubating that right now. The, the, the implementation isn't done. I'm still coding it. Um, so far the back tests haven't been that great. So I'm definitely, you know, nowhere near where I want it to be, but hopefully I can get that, you know, done for February and then maybe start, you know, running down my paper trading account in March. If everything goes well, you know, start it live in April or, or, or May there. So overall, I'm very happy. 15% return making two grand uh, in a month is awesome. And, um, you know, just want to be transparent with you guys and show you my results because I know a lot of you like these uh, videos. So if you want to still keep seeing my my profits at the end of the month, leave a comment below and please hit the like button that will let me know that you want to see it. If you don't do that, I might stop posting these videos. I don't know if you guys want to see it or not, um, but I know earlier a lot of people uh, like these. So anyways, that's all for today. Um, in terms of next videos for me, I'm going to be continuing my Interactive Brokers Trading Bot series, how to code one in Python. So stay tuned for more videos on that. I know you guys are dying to see that. I get comments all the time. So next week, you'll definitely see part three of that. Um, and then I wanted to do a couple videos on different brokerages like Alpaca, the broker I use currently right now, which is GFF, GFF, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, I have, I have a whole t a bunch of ideas for, 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 you know, future videos. So anyways, if you found value in this video, please hit the subscribe button and like button, and there'll be more coming your way next week. Have a good one, guys.